Uh, hello, my name is Russ Hunt, and uh, I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. Hi, Russ. I'm just kidding. I'm an asshole. So, uh, but first up, uh, I just want to say, uh, uh, for people who don't know me, um, my name's Russ. I have uh, two kids. One's uh, four month old, and uh, we're much better than other parents because we breastfeed. And uh, I just gotta say, my nipples are killing me. So, but uh, you like that? You you want some? You want some teeth? Anyways, but as a child, you know, having a newborn kid makes you think of the uh, lessons you've learned as a childhood. And uh, some of the things I've learned were uh, growing up that my mom, one time we were cleaning, and uh, he was on the side of the house. And... Sorry, I'm, I'm getting all nervous and shit. Uh, we were cleaning on the side of the house, and I was about eight, seven years old, and my mom, she's a real sweet lady. She plays bluegrass music, never really swore. And, uh, like I said, we were cleaning, and uh, I was like, Mom, do you have any gloves? This this shit's dirty. Well, I didn't use the escort nest. But I was like, this is all gross. And she goes, Russ, sometimes you got to get your hands fucking dirty. <laughs> and you can clean your hands when you're done. So I learned two things that day. was, uh, Mama don't like no bitching, and you can clean your hands when you're done. So. And other things I've learned since I've had a newborn child is uh, like going back and watching movies I used to watch as a kid. And uh, my favorite one growing up was Rocky. You know, uh, hey, yo, uh, Adrian, I got these uh, domestic toilets, right? <laughs> so on the toilet food, you give them to me, mice, and then no flies, right? So I have to hit them in back, you know, with the good shell shot, Adrian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which that doesn't work on any pet store chick I've ever met in my life. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm watching that movie, and I'm realizing Stallone, you know, he wrote the movie. He made Rocky mentally incompetent. The way he wrote it, it didn't matter how good of an actor you had, the guy could not be any less retarded. Because in the first movie, when Gonzo, Rocky's loan shark boss, you know, goes, I uh, hear you're taking Adrian out. Where are, you, where are you taking him? And then his driver says, take him to the zoo. And Rocky's like, what? What? You know, and then, because uh, I hear the retards like the zoo. And he's like, I should have broke your thumbs. And they drive off, you know? So in the second movie, as soon as Rocky gets out of the hospital, where do they go? To the zoo. And Adrian says, hey, Rocky, why are we here? I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> Rocky's a retard, no matter how you slice it. So, uh, but you know, you learn, learn lots of things growing up. Uh, one is, whenever you're arrested, don't worry, just keep enjoying your life. Uh, I was uh, arrested when I was 16, public in talks, on the front lawn! <laughs> Explain that shit to me. But, uh, anyways, me and my friend, Zach, he got arrested. And, uh, I remember one time, I, I mean, I, not one time, but one time. And I was in the back, and I was like, hey, could you turn the radio on? You know, because my dad was six, seven hours away. At that point, I knew I'm done. I'm fucked. I'm, I'm, even if he left right now, that's seven hours away. What do you know? So I, and I was drunk, yes, and the cop was like, you need to shut your phone in, and just started cussing at me like a normal cop does. <laughs> They're trained that way. <laughs> did, you know, did you know that in America, it actually takes more time, more training to become a barber than a police officer? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> but anyways, um, back to the story. That's how I was rudely treated. But he didn't turn the radio on, is what I'm saying. But I, so since he didn't turn on the radio, I decided, all right, fuck him. I'm going to enjoy myself. And I started singing. 
I've got a lovely bunch of coconut doodly do big one small one off and they just and he just you know slammed on the brakes started getting real mad and my friend was all like shh you're gonna upset him and I was like I'm fucked man Whoop, you know so either way they don't enjoy it it doesn't matter because in the outcome the judge decides so yeah and uh there's other things I've learned that uh <laughs> yes, I've learned that as well. Uh, I mean, uh, what is, I got a question, what is it about having a newborn child that makes people want to touch it? You know, you go to the store, uh, I was at my local grocery, right, and this woman walks in who appears pretty drunk to me, you know, some river ran off the, the mighty Elk River, and uh, she just starts coming in, sees my child with arms wide open, starts walking toward, oh, what a pretty little baby, you know, and so naturally I, I intervene and I say, bitch, what do you think you're doing? And her response was, what, I'm clean, clean, explain clean.